Hey guys, it's Gabrielle, and um, today I'm going to do a video of studying, because, yeah, definitely a fun video. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry people who wanted to watch some fashion and some um, beauty videos. Currently, today's video, um, this week's video, is going to be a study video, but it helps all of you guys getting ready for finals and stuff. So, for some of y'all, you don't have finals for another two months. For, for some of you, finals are in a couple weeks or a couple, or like a month or two. Um, for me, finals are in two months. But I do have a um, AP test. So, I have 13 days to the AP test. So, I'm doing a chapter a day for the next 13 days because there's 13 chapters. Um, but... I've been studying previously, but I never, I like studied through my notebook and didn't, and studied through a different textbook and didn't use the Cliff's Notes one, which is the one I'm going to be using now. So I'm going to do, um, yeah. So I'm in chapter one currently, and so, and I'm just going to say a couple things about the test I'm doing. I have an AP, mine is AP Human Geography. That's what I'm doing. Um, and so it's 75 multiple choice questions. And you get 60 minutes for the multiple choice. And then there's like a 20 minute or something like that. Then there's like a tiny bit of a, then there's like a tiny break. And then there's three res free response questions. So there's three FRQs um, that you each get 25 minutes for each FRQ. So it's about two hours. Like the test when you're actually testing is about two and a half hours, a little less than two and a half hours, something like that, something around that. So yeah, anyway. So let's get into the studying. So I've got my little Cliff's Notes textbook. I don't have the, the full textbooks in my bag. And I've got my notebook. And I'm mostly going to be using this textbook for the first couple chapters, for the first couple days. Because, because, um, my note taking wasn't very good. I wasn't consistent and wasn't very good until around chapter 8. So for the eight, first couple days, we're just going to essentially use this. Alrighty. Let's go through it. So I'm not going to read you this because copyright, but I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do a time slot. I'm going to do time. I can't speak. Okay. I can't speak today. I'm going to do a time lapse of studying and stuff and just um, tie and do a voiceover of some tips and tricks and stuff that I learned. So I hope you guys like this. This is mostly going to be a voiceover, um, a voiceover video so i hope you guys like this and i will see you guys in the outro okay yeah let's let's just get into the video okay yeah let's get into the video okay so my first tip is to set a reminder on your phone um for a specific time of day um that you will study every single day um it'll just help you a lot because if you set a reminder it on your phone it'll remind you and you'll be like oh i have to study now and you'll start studying so that's, that's a good option. The second tip I have is to watch a documentary or a TED Talk about the topic you are studying. So my textbook, actually, this textbook I'm using actually has, um, because it's the getting ready for the test one, it has the, um, it has like TED Talks and websites and stuff like that for um, after every chapter that'll help you review. And so that's, that's a really good option. Um, so another tip, um, is to say things out loud, um, to remember, it'll help, um, memory. It'll just help you remember things a lot easier. Okay, so another thing is to make your space as close to the place you're taking the test. So, like, sitting in an upright position, um, with a number two pencil, or, um, just as close to that as close to your test environment as possible so like no background noise whatever um another thing is in write important things down don't just like read the text um also write down important key like t topics key terms you know things like that also to go along with the writing things down write down any questions you have about the readings you can go and look it up after you read to better help you or help you understand better another tip is to take breaks um 
but instead of take when you take small breaks, um, don't go on your phone. Go for like a jog or a walk or pet an animal because that'll help you um, de-stress better instead of being on your phone. Another tip is to start studying early. I know this might sound cliche, but if you start studying earlier, you have more time to study a chapter um, or you have more time to t study. And so if you start specifically on a, on a day, so you have enough time to study a chapter a day or a section a day, don't cram the day before because that will hurt you and actually you're, you will not remember any of that. Okay, so you can also um, like have study groups or make a group chat for your um, like your class and it'll help if you don't understand stuff so you can ask them. Um, another tip um, is to another tip is to um, when you study, wait an hour after you study um, so like do stuff other stuff for an hour before you take a practice test because when you take a practice test right after what you reviewed you'll remember better but after an hour you won't remember you'll remember as much as you will realistically remember on the test so that is an easy way to um know how much you remember of the text So I'm really luck lucky that the test I'm studying for, um, while it's a really big like exam, it's an AP exam, um, and I have nine days from when I'm editing this, not from when I film this, but nine days from when I'm editing this, um, to the test, so there's that. But um, as I'm doing this, I'm reviewing, um, there's 13 chapters, and when I started um, reviewing, I had 13 days till the test, so I review a chapter a day, um, because I started reviewing on May 1st, and the test is on May 14th, so I had 13 prep days to start with a chapter every day. That's really helpful, because I can just review that. Also, the textbook I'm using is the Cliff's Note is the Cliff's Notes version. It's like the test prep version of my actual textbook. So it has um, test questions. It has like review questions at the end, and um, it like tells you all the key terms. And it also has test practice. So it also has like tests in the back. And because it's an AP Human Geography, is the class I'm taking, we have to write FRQs. So it also has FRQs. Um, for every chapter and FRQs in the back that like tell you how to write them and stuff like that so that's really helpful so this textbook also has like strategies for success in AP human geography like stuff about the AP exam so it talks about how long it is it's two hours and 15 minutes it's sit uh, 60 minutes for multiple choice which is 75 um, multiple choice uh, or no, it's, I don't know how many multiple choice, but it's 60 minutes for multiple choice and 75 for re free response questions, which is FRQs. And it has strategies for success. It also has, like, just really nice information about the test and the percentages of the questions, what the questions are going to be on, just um, really helpful information about the test as well as the information we need to know. So here is just the key terms for chapter one and two that um, I found quickly while reading through this cha these chapters and I wrote these down for memory. Okay, so I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that butt button to get notified whenever I upload. And yeah, and comment below when your school's finals are. Mine aren't for another month, but um we have ap tests going on now um yeah i hope you guys use this nice information um for in your future because yeah um i really liked coming up with some of these so yeah this is just how i've been studying for this ap test i have coming up and um i hope you guys use these really nice tips so yeah um i'll see you guys another um next week with another video Bye.